Hey everybody, welcome to a new recording. Uh, today I'm going to be, well, you'll see in a little bit, but first let me show you my Twitch channel, Pitcake101. Um, we have recently reached 26 followers. Dom the Bomb was the latest follower, so just saying, shout out, I guess. So yeah, in the description down below, you can follow me on Twitch if you want to catch this, which was streamed live. And then this is my YouTube channel. We have reached 117 subscribers. Subscribe, otherwise you are a media. Not gonna lie. 14.5% of you are subscribed that are watching, and 85.5% of you are not cool. If you would like to be cool, then go ahead down below and subscribe, otherwise you are just a dumb idiot little baby. Uh, and then over here we have our merch store. Uh, recently I released the I Eat Babies merch. It's amazing, it's just in time for winter for your Christmas tree I Eat Babies needs. And also, the new Poggers mug has been released. People were asking for a Poggers mug for a while now, like more mugs, but it was really difficult to do, and I finally released the Poggers mug. So, yeah, and the Sweatshrit and Shrit merch, shirt misspelled on the shirt. So, if you want to go down below and also click on that link, then go ahead. And that's about it that I have to talk about. So, let's go right into the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another video. Um, so, pretty much... What I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be sticking long in my Minecraft server, but I'm going to be explaining my favorite Forge mods this time. That's right, I have a video in the past for Fabric mods. That got, like, 1.7 thousand views, so my plan is to copy that idea the exact same way. Um, oh, somebody just joined the server. Um, so pretty much... It allows you to see inside shulker boxes, have um, a hunger thing to see how much saturation you have, see how much saturation you're going to get from food items. I forgot to up update that one, but I'll have the update in the description. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, and then a few other things. So let's, I guess, jump right into that, along with Optifine, actually. Yeah, let's go into that. Alright, welcome back. Uh, so over here we have all the mods that I have. Uh, so we have OptiForge along with Optifine. Otherwise, you can't just do OptiForge alone. For 1.16.4, only 1.16.4. There is different versions for each of these, but I don't know if there's previous versions leading up to 1.16.4 for every single one of these. So, you know, most likely just going to use 1.16.4. So OptiForge, uh, Item Physic Light, which is... Forge specific, which is why I chose Forge for this video. Forge itself. <laughs> shulker tooltip for seeing inside shulker boxes. And then apple skin. So let's get right into the mod folder. Okay, so I lied in the last clip. We're going to the websites first, so that way you can see where to download these at. First one in the description is apple skin. Uh, the apple skin mod for 1.16.4 is available here. Uh, it is listed as 1.16.2, but it does work for 1.16.4. It just doesn't currently show the amount of saturation you get for each of the items, but it still shows the amount of saturation you have at the time. So it technically does work for 1.16.4, but like, you know, it's it's fine. Then item physic light. Over here we have the 1.16 version, which does work in 1.16.4, uh, but he says that he isn't completely sure, so there possibly could be some glitches with it working with 1.16.4, being that it is so new. Uh, over here we have the mix and bootstrap. Now this is pretty much to, I believe, make item physic light work. I don't remember exactly, but uh, it's necessary. So then this is the 1.16 version. So yeah. Um, and then over here we have the Optifine version. This is a pre-release, so if there is any glitches, please tell me in the comments and I might be able to help you out with any of these mods. Right now we're on this release. You might have a later release. It's in optifine.net slash downloads, and this is the newest one. And then over here we have Shulker Tooltip, which does officially support 1.16.4 as listed right here. So yeah, then you just download the release version for 1.16. Uh, once you have downloaded all of those, let me cut over to the folder you bring them to. All right, so over here in the folder, you will see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six of the mods that you've just downloaded. Drag them all in. Uh, including the preview for Optifine, do not double click it, just drag it into the mods folder, along with every other mod that you have downloaded. Do not double click them, just drag them into the mods folder. If you're confused what I'm talking about, press the Windows key plus the R key at the same time, and then type in, in the little window that shows up, percent app data percent. I'll put this 
in the edit. You'll see it in text right here. But then press enter and you should head into this folder. You're gonna wanna scroll all the way down to you see the folder dot Minecraft. Go into the dot Minecraft folder and then head down over to the mods folder. If you don't, if you don't see a mods folder, right click, well hover over new and <laughs> right click hover over new and then select new folder and then rename it to M-O-D-S as in mods. Nothing else. It has to be labeled that way. Otherwise, it won't work. Go into that mods folder. These, you don't need these. Okay, I just have, this is for a different thing. But these will need to be dragged inside. All the mods that you have just downloaded, which I was showing you beforehand. Once you put these all in here, so continuing on what I was saying, the next thing you need to go is do is go to minecraftforge.net in the description down below still. Head over to the 1.16.4 version and click on installer. And then click on the exe file, follow all the instructions, and it should automatically install a profile instead of inside of Minecraft to use for your mods. So let me cut to the launcher and show you how to start it up. All right, so now that we're in the launcher, look in the bottom left corner, you should see Forge. 1.16.4 dash Forge, blah, 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 blah. So if that is in the bottom left corner, then you're free to press play. But before you do, go over to inst installations, head over to this dot dot dot, and then click edit. And then head over to more options. And then if you'd like to use more RAM, then go ahead and list right here. Right now I'm only using two gigabytes, but I'm going to switch that to four. So that way my game won't lag as much. Essentially allowing the game to run with more of your computers ram i can't say ram in any other way okay but yeah so then you just click on play and then you load into the game so let me cut to the game all right so that's about it for the video thank you for watching um if you would like to join this smp server we actually have active players for once so if you want to join go ahead in the description and go into the discord and fill out an application should be really simple um yeah also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Um, I guess I'll see you next time. Peace.